Chapter 9 Extend Datasheets Dynamic Properties The Dynamic Category Properties Grid, or short, the Dynamic Grid, is the table on the right hand side of each dialog, or datasheet. In previous chapters, we've already learned the major behaviors of the grid adding properties of different field types, enabling value constraints, sorting, filtering, and multi language labeling. Are there other requirements to be solved? The most frequent questions are how to drive style options on a single row, like allowing material selection in Inventor, but do not allow an override in Vault. To answer this question, we need to investigate the background of this smart control. So, we start introducing you to the concepts and usage of styles of dialogue elements. You learn how to change existing styles according to your needs and how to access the behavior and style-specific individual properties. Workflow Optimizing styles in the datasheet files, we can perfect workflows like material selection allowed in CAD and displayed as read-only text in Vault Explorer. Another optimization using all available space in Chapter 7 we introduced a thumbnail view for edit data sheets and vault. The dynamic grid can gain available space easily. Exercise 1 Explore style resource in datasheet files. Follow explanations on features and benefits by navigating through the style resources of our file datasheet. Let's open file XAML in your vault.custom configuration folder. Collapse the style nodes under the window resources node. We'll now look at several style definitions. Step 1. Explore a specific style element. Let's focus on the first two styles now. Each style definition has a key. These keys have unique names. Any matching element being of the target type, data grid cell, can get assigned to this style. This step is the case for our dynamic grid. Open the search window and type dynamic data grid cell style. Navigate to the second search result. The hierarchical XML structure lists data grid text column nodes for the property name label and another column for the property values. And there we are. The style is referenced for all cells of this column. At this time, we shouldn't worry about the details. We can always use graphical tools for the XML files, like the XML Designer in Visual Studio. Get back to the first search element. Step 2. Explore a general style element. Let's take a look at the nodes 3 and 4. The nodes have a target type, but there are no keys. Add a setup property, font size, and adjust the value as you like. I'll enter 14 here. The file dialog font is now bigger than normal. Revert the last change. Exercise 2. Implement a material style for Vault. As announced in the workflow introduction, we will perfect the file datasheet for Vault by copying and adjusting a style behavior used in Inventor datasheets. Step 1. Copy material style from Inventor XAML. Open CAD Inventor XAML and Vault.custom configuration file.xaml side by side. In the Inventor XAML, search for Material. Copy the Data Trigger node and paste it after the last data trigger in Style.Triggers node on File XAML. Step 2. Replace Control Template's Combo Box by Text Box. Delete the Combo Box node. Go to line 44 and copy the text box node. 
paste it onto the deleted line. Step 3. Configure the read-only style. Lastly, we should limit the user access to the text box. Add isReadOnly attribute, set it to true, and also background attribute, and set it to white smoke. Exercise 3. Maximize the height of the dynamic grid. Another optimization using all available space in chapter 7, we introduced a thumbnail view for edit data sheets and vault. The dynamic grid can gain available space easily. Search for the DSDIN and set the max height to binding actual height, element name grid general props, mode one way. The difference is shown on the screen. Chapter 9 Summary Congratulations! You followed the exercises to the end. Agreed! Editing dialog definition files can get complex using an XML editor only. To learn more details on all the elements, options, and attributes, a programmer's editor, like Visual Studio, are inevitable. Anyway, you learn two repeatable concepts that you can solve by copy and paste from this chapter in your customizations.